Hey guys, it's me, Wendy, from Wendy's Eating Show, and oh my gosh, today I have an item that I love to order from the Mexican talk shop, and that is a bean and cheese burrito. Mm, you guys also know that I love my carrots. Oh my gosh, my crunchy carrots, but <clears throat> unfortunately, <sighs> I do not have some today, so uh, I feel broken i feel shattered but that's okay i got my chile toreado which is basically a fried jalapeno and oh my gosh this is the bomb.com and i also have gonna be drinking some water and i did add some slices of lemon just so that it could give me like a little um flavoring so um and the reason why i don't have carrots if you guys are like asking yourselves like why if it's like your favorite well my parents did go and buy it, so they asked me if I wanted to order something. And I was like, sure, give me a bean and cheese. And I totally forgot to um, tell them to bring me my carrots. So it was my fault. It wasn't them because um, <clears throat> I forgot to tell them to bring me some stuff. So... This is going to be my plain water. You can see it. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat. I haven't had a bean and cheese in a while. So. Ooh. This is my bean and cheese. So it's just like that. Bye. Mm. 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 Oh, sorry. I forgot the napkins. Mm. Oh my god, so I was telling you guys, like, if you guys haven't watched my other mukbang video where I was eating um yogurt and banana, I think that was before the Lay's um, video. I was mentioning that I did travel to uh, like um all these states. Bing. Um. Oh. Hmm. One of the many places we do go a lot to is um, TJ, and that is because we live in San Diego and that, that's like our neighbor, so we're so fortunate to go every time we want. Scratching. <laughs> I'm pulling up my my last um well the subway. I think a mosquito bit me. But um like as I was saying, so yeah, we're so fortunate to oh my gosh, look at the cheese. We're so fortunate to be able to go there. We live like so close. Hmm. The story I want to tell you guys is when one time when we were smaller, I want to say maybe, um, hmm. 12, 12, 14, somewhere there. Mm. 
14 or 15. So you go to this place, um, which is like, um, three hours away from TJ. The international border, like, you go down deep, and there's this place called Ensenada, Mexico. And then there's the famous Bufadora. If you guys don't know what that is, search it up. And it's like this cave that, like, it's like, it's like, how could I explain this? Um, you're looking down, like, at the sea, and then the waves are, like, um, crashing into this huge mountain of, um, 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 like, my mouth is burning, but, um, it's crashing into the, um, mountain, and it has created, like, this, um, cave, and every time the waves hit it, like, you get splashed, and, like, the mist, and everything, and it's, like, so nice. Sorry, um, it's so popular, look at it, la bufadora. Ensenada, Mexico, and um, a lot of tourists go over there. You eat seafood for like the low, it's, like so cheap, and mm. perfect to go visit over there, you guys. I have a lot of um beans, so I'm just gonna press it down so I can like get a little tuck it over. Oh. Mm. Oh. What? When we went over there to Ensenada. It's also popular that you can rent a horse by the beach, so. Mm? Mm. Mm. I have never ridden a horse before. I've been to Mexico so, so many times to my um, grandparents' ranch and all that, but I've never ridden a horse, so. My brother, my mom, everybody, my dad was like, <clears throat> well, they were like, let's take the kids since we were like underage and we were technically teenagers, 15, so. Anyways, the point is they took us, oh man, so. Mm. Oh. So, um, we get there, and there's, like, a bunch of horses. So, in Spanish, a female horse is called a yegua, and then a male horse is called a caballo. And so, I was, I was, like, I wasn't skinny, but I wasn't also fat. I was, like... Mm. Just a tad chunky, just a little bit. And so, the guy there decides to put me on a yegua, which is a female horse. That horse was like so small, so skinny. And I was like, oh lord. So, I think there's a mosquito down in my feet, but my brother, my mom. Everybody got a horse, a big horse. They put me on a yegua, on a female horse, which was small. I was literally falling to the right, to the left, because my body couldn't stay on the horse because, like, it was so skinny and small, and I was like, oh, Lord. And plus, um, mm, ho. Oh. We take off. 
I was literally holding to the to dear life. I, okay, you're supposed to be up and riding the horse, right? No. My chest was literally on the horse's head, like, leaned forward. I was scared, like, and a little boy, like, 13 years old, was pulling my horse, so. And when we were in the beach, when we were, like, on the beach, on the sand, the horses kind of slowed down because it's kind of hard to walk, and the kid purposely... Um, I don't know what he did, but he made the horse, sorry, um, go faster, like, um, galloping a little bit, and um, honestly, um, it wasn't so bumpy, but I did get scared, like, it was less bumpy when the horse went faster, but I was scared, I was never, I have never written on a horse, and that kid does that, and I was like, stop it, I was like, what's your name, he was like, my name is Kid, and I was like, kid, stop it, kid, stop it, like, I knew that wasn't his name, obviously, but he was playing around, I was like, kid, stop it, and everybody was laughing at me, my mom, my, my brother, and I was so scared, but, mm, I feel so bad for the horse, because, that horse was tired, y'all. Like, poor horse. It took a challenge of his life. So, when we got back, it's a girl. As soon as we got there, like, to the place where they put them back, that horse decided to pee. And mind you, it's a girl. I already told you guys it's a girl. So I'm still up on her and she has, she opens her legs and she leans down like back and I'm like holding to dear life again because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the worst day ever. And she decides to pee like, like, I don't know, like when you open the water, when you're going to uh, take a shower, like the bottom um, water, it was like that and it, and it's, uh, and it, it was like taking forever and I was like so scared and, and again everybody was laughing at me but I think it was because mm, I was like can this day go any worse I honestly think it was because it was a female horse and she didn't have like the strength of horse like a male horse would have so I don't know why they put me on the little <clears throat> horse you know but anyways that was my little <laughs> horse story <laughs> mm. I love dogs you guys don't get me wrong but I don't like it when they when they interrupt my video. Comment of the day goes to I'm looking. I already put up my video. So this is from her YouTube name says Melissa Watson. I hope I pronounced it right. And she says, "Can you say my name in a video? My name is Ocean. That's my real name. Please say my name in a video." There you go, girl. Ocean. That is like a beautiful name. And we're talking about the ocean, right? Since Sorry, I did mention the bufadora. You like, you can watch like the whole ocean. Oh, and in fact, Titanic was filmed like over there by La Bufadora. So, <clears throat> yeah, ocean. So, hope you like your little shout out. And thanks you guys for watching again. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't. So, I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm-hmm.